Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguise statues? I actually have some moons for you. Dear me, you have been busy. Incredible, thank you. You're ready for the final Alahamora lesson. With this knowledge, no lock shall ever stand in your way. You have done all I asked. I only wish I knew who put those statues everywhere in the first place. <sighs> Alas. If you do find more, please feel free to remove them. You'll be doing your caretaker a huge service. And if I ever find out who the bully is behind this cruel trick, I shall let you know. Thank you once again for your assistance and tenacity. Now that you've mastered Alahamora, no lock is unbreakable. Uh, but do feel free to keep finding demigod statues and removing those moons. Those statues took time and effort. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. Down, I assume. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student, too cowardly to do it himself, <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly, until you started clearing them out. It sounds as if Mr. Moon deserved what he got, but perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demiguy statues. It was an old schoolmate of yours, Piers Pemberton. Oh, I might have known. Pigtails Piers. 
I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all! Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm going to go and pay a visit to my old friend. <laughs>